Welcome to the channel, I'm Saf, and today we're checking out The Leftovers. This is going to be Season 1, Episode 1, the pilot episode. Pilot. I did read the little summary for this uh, from HBO uh, about the town and people disappear and they're trying to figure out what's going on. It's not an entirely new concept. There have been other shows where people disappear and come back. Uh, I think 4400 and... I think there have been abduction, science fiction-y type, you know, uh, alien-based populations come come and go or moved around or maybe maybe a spiritual one or two, but I, I don't know what to expect from this because it, it doesn't say they're coming back. It just says people vanish and they look for answers, so uh, I guess we're going to see what it's all about. Looks like It looks like this first episode is a little bit longer because it's the pilot episode, so uh, buckle up. We're going to be here for a little bit, an hour and 11 minutes it looks like, so no more rambling from me. Let's get started on this thing. Episode 1, Season 1, The Leftovers. Here we go. <coughs> Bebe. Okay, suddenly the what, what, uh, oh, the baby was going to be gone if it was suddenly quiet. I feel bad about this silence now. When the window's down, she's gonna think someone just walked up and snatched the baby. Sam? I guess that's a driver that disappeared. I always thought about that, the second X-Men movie, when the Cerebro and they're messing with all the humans at once. Wouldn't there be millions of car accidents and planes dropping out of the skies and boats boating into each other? That, that's what this is. Post Thanos, somewhere else. That's funny. They're talking about pandemics versus the one in 50 that this thing did. I mean, that seems so random. Would it be noticeable? It's the Grim. Is that a mutt? It's an interesting breed. What? Like, what is that? It's getting. Yeah, too. Damn it. Are we gonna explain shooting a random dog? Was it yours? Was it rabid? Were you trying to hit him? <laughs> the shots were getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, and that's just complete setup for something to startle. And uh, there you have it. Hello, my name is uh, Dudley. Fuck that Harry Potter kid asshole. That's what nasal strips are for. It stops snoring and helps you breathe better in general. Did she just wake up with them in her hand? That was amazing and sad in a sort of way. I left out the under God part because that was added back in like the 40s or 50s, I think. I forget who did it or why, but it kind of breaks the rhythm anyway. Oh, it's the anniversary. I, I was, I'm really dumb. I couldn't figure out why, why it was like a big deal. If Kurt Russell and Elvis had a baby, <laughs> some wild shit like that happens. It's so off the charts just like widespread and a crazy thing that uh i've seen this picture somewhere it's a new emergent thing they may not have a grasp on it for a little while scientifically or if it's something that can't be tested or quantified you know then then it's not testable you know we smoke to proclaim our faith what the fuck i thought this is like a halfway house or just a flop house for people or something but now like with matching white uniforms and schedules and our faith through smoking and everyone is fucking smoking like what the world where have i seen this lady sitting down at oh true detective season one it was the lady in the last episode or two who like why don't you make flowers with me <laughs> was it just people that disappeared or uh, was other life confirmed to have poofed <laughs> that was a sudden and weird cut. I found your dog Dudley. And I'm sorry to say that uh. he's uh... So? Uh. Dog has been gone for three years. Ran away, never came back. Three. My husband's. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. That was, I've seen deer stand still, that was not a deer standing still. That was a fucking yard. Texas, huh? Fuck you. Why not? 
This Josh Harnett looking. What are you landing on, people? What's she gonna say? She lost her entire family, Doug. She'll say whatever the fuck she wants to. Damn. Okay, so... And there we have it. Our very first Heroes Day. Apparently some Any people questions? got unequally... I still don't think that... A year ago, these people didn't even exist. Now there's almost 50 of them. Oh, uh, is, uh, is that the white... An entire cul-de-sac. You know, okay, you yeah, yeah. The, the people in the white shirts and shit, stuff. Lucy. Where did they come from? Where do they go? What do they want? Where do they come from? You don't even know who they are. Cotton we know Joe. who they were. I, I, I've I've seen girls and women's lacrosse and shit, and it's uh, it's as close to American Gladiators as you get. <laughs> I'm fine. Is Jill? Is that the girl from uh, Stranger Things? Don't start none. Won't be none. Rifle and a shotgun on the back. It's good to have options. I'm sure you are used to that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, just like that, blindfolded into an armed compound. Go on in. With no personal security. Can you help me? Ah, Dave Chappelle! This guy watching in the background, lurking, like... Ditch the bitch! Oh, no. Oh, well, yeah. That's, uh, that's Elrond's daughter. Wait a minute. Didn't she ha have the joint, and then it cut, and then she had it, and I didn't see a handoff? Right on. As you were... You going to Dorfman's tonight? Are they twins or they just both have the same do face? I am no longer burdened. <laughs> All gone. All gone. So this guy's like a go healer yes. or a guru uh, actually, or... Tom... I was hockey practice. Same old, same old. Yep. I broke a bitch in her face. This meatloaf's fucking spectacular. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about my cooking. <laughs> Yeah, see, he, he read that something was off about the thing, about the game, and then and then she misdirected with the meatloaf, which is also a truth. Why not? I would just rather you didn't. I would just rather you tell me why not. Hey, because I'm your father, and I said you so. You don't want to go, or you're just busting my balls? Huh? If it's a party, you better hope no one calls the cops. Yeah! Text me Dwarfman's phone number. This music, oh, what the fuck? Oh, they were looking at pictures of her. Is she like a target? Their next uh, recruit? Or is she... Shun the non-believer. Shun! Oh yeah, this is the small get-together with uh, the parents that are totally there. And, uh... Does she like the other dude? Or is that an ex or something? Did I miss some sort of cue? But please tell the Westboro Baptist Church to fucking stand somewhere else. You're being weird. No one wants you here. I, I thought they meant like burn one, like like smoke or take a hit or something, not fucking mutilate yourself. No, we don't do branding here, no sir. No sir. Eyes on the road, buddy. God damn it! The fuck do you want? Why the fuck are you following us? You're they want to recruit her, or they want to sue her, or <laughs> There's a dead dog in your trunk. I heard there's a whole pack of them that lives out in the woods behind the state hospital. That's urban legend bullshit. I mean, I know... There's wild dogs, dogs all over the place. Away. I need you to keep her close, keep her safe, and keep your fucking hands off her. Okay. Yeah. Don't take your eyes off the road. <laughs> It wasn't something on the road, like fell onto the windshield. It felt like. Is it? Whoa! Is the place is all fucked up? How would this have happened? He was there, right? He he wouldn't have slept through an attack. You okay? On his own house, right? <laughs> if I wasn't recording, I'd be doing some shitty freestyle rap over all this beat right here. Not gonna do it though. Give me more caffeine. Here. I don't give a shit what you want. That's Why was so there a dead funny. dog in your trunk? Uh. Yeah, you're the adult here, right? With the job, she's the kid who lives in your house. Like, it felt like um, I didn't deserve anything that good. Feverish and throwing up, and I couldn't even get out of bed. And 
I was joking kind of earlier when I called in the Westboro Baptist Church, but now that they're like showing up here with oh, signs and shit. The so these people wear white on the outside, but on the inside they, they run their lungs out. No, you're giving it what they want. Don't do it. They're doing non-violent protests. Did they, she just break a bottle on her back fucking head? Doesn't look like any of the cult people are fighting back, so, uh... So it looked like they cracked somebody and then pulled her up. <laughs> Gary Busey. Pope, I get the Pope. But Gary fucking Busey? How does he make the cut? That's the guy who shot the dog. Hey. Yeah. I got a few questions for you, buddy. Yo. The fact that he even went for his gun is ridiculous. But if they converted everyone in the world into their white shirt cult, then what would they do? They wouldn't just be able to stand around and be awkward anymore. So what would they do with their time? Speak. I'm looking for someone named Lori. Carl. Lori! Carl. It's like they're being a lot more peaceful than the Westboro Baptist. They're still doing the same thing of like being there and being in the way, but they're not saying anything. They're not being offensive. I... The signs they hold aren't crazy. Whoa, that's the first time I've actually seen any of them do anything physical. I was wondering if I could stay here. Maybe for just a couple of nights. You can stay here for as long as you want to, sweetheart. My name is Patty. What's yours? Meg. This is Lori. She's going to take care of you while you're here. Meg. You and I won't speak again. Oh, was he skinny dipping? Was that wiener? Did we get some dick? Yeah, that thing's moving. Okay, okay. Here, another animal's about to get killed in front of you because that's what fucking happens to you. Maybe, maybe it was that. Oh, shit. That's. You both better fucking. Wasn't someone earlier talking about packs of wild dogs and they were like, no, this is an urban legend? They are not our dogs. Because those things could have just as easily attacked him. Not anymore. Am I awake? There you are now, Chief. Dog Slayer 9000. You got? I mean, what the fuck are you waiting for? <laughs> what are we about to do here? He, he didn't flinch as much on that last one. And now he's stepping forward and going for it. <sighs> All right, that was Leftovers, Season 1, Episode 1, the pilot episode. Okay, a lot of characters, a lot of potential, a lot of weirdness, a lot of, uh, lot of unanswered questions. Just enough there to, uh, I think, keep you hooked, you know, which is good. HBO's good at that. Yeah, there was some wild gore, some jump scares, some intrigue. A uh, little, little, little touch of the ultra violence. Uh, they didn't shy away from graphic or sexual content, so they're definitely setting the stage. I'm sure when I go back to edit, I'll uh, spend a lot more time looking at the footage of the characters' dialogue and their names and everything. So it's going to be hard. It's going to take me a little while to piece everything together, especially since I've been watching a whole bunch of other shows. There's just a, a lot of new characters, and just, I've got to sort it all out in my little brain. So. Yeah, the cop went from, you know, you don't kill our dogs and wanting to chase the guy down to, like, fucking joining in and doing what had to be done. Yeah, this white cult people group is going to be interesting. They don't, you know, they don't talk much at all. They, they write notes to each other and all that shit. Now Liv Tyler's there. And why were they scouting her out before? Why did they have interest? Now why did she show up and just want to be there? Like, it's... I have questions. Alright, this was a lot of fun, but it's going to do it for me for now on The Leftovers. This was Season 1, Episode 1, so thank you all so much for being here, spending your time, 
And yeah, hopefully see you on the next one. Goodbye.